friends, this is Holly with Seeking Sela Yoga. Thank you for joining me for this 20 minute flow. This is a beginner friendly flow just to really wake up the body. We'll work into your hips and your hamstrings and um, really just get you started for the day. And if this is the end of the day, I would consider it gentle enough to um, help maybe work out whatever tense uh, stresses you might be carrying. So I hope that this blesses you. Our scripture focus is on Psalm 20 verses four to five. So uh, if you like this channel, please let me know, maybe hit the like button on this video or consider subscribing. So uh, let's get started. Let's begin standing. We're gonna inhale those arms overhead, reaching through the fingertips. Take a moment to get really tall, come up onto the ball of the foot. And then on your exhale, your next exhale, lower the heels, bring the hands down through heart center. Let's do that one more time. Lifting up onto the ball of the foot, hands come overhead, shift your gaze up to your fingers if you can, and on your exhale, come back down. Feel nice and grounded. Notice all points of the feet as they ground into the mat. Notice each fingertip as they touch in the palms touching right at heart center. We're going to take a forward fold. We want our back to be nice and straight. Our shoulders are tucked under. Our chin is parallel to the ground and our abs are engaged. And this is a pretty active posture. Keep the legs straight until you meet some resistance. You're welcome to then bend in. And as you get lower, Allow the back to curve as you drop in. Now we'll unroll to stand, taking those arms overhead, exhaling hands through heart center, and we're gonna come into camel pose. So take both hands to the lower back, fingertips down, palms up, roll your shoulders back and under, opening through the chest, lifting your gaze and now tip your head back just to a comfortable stretch noticing the stretch you feel across the front of the neck and take a, a mini back bend here this is like our cow spine and then we will forward fold or counter pose taking that spine organized posture bending from the hips until you allow the spine to round and then unroll to stand trying to intentionally roll up vertebrae by vertebrae really warming up the spine here inhale the arms overhead exhale the hands through heart center and we'll try that again so our standing camel pose hands come to the backs um, hands come to the lower back you're not really like pushing into your lower back here. Roll the shoulder blades under. Tip the head up, tip the chin up. Send your gaze towards the sky. And I'm gonna begin reading our Psalm today, Psalm 24, five. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. Okay, our counter pose, forward fold. Keep that spine organized as you bend forward. And this time, come into a bit of a rag doll. So this is where we're gonna spend just an extra moment here, really decompressing the spine. Feel free to move organically, however feels good. And this continues to say, may we shout for joy over your victory. And in the name of our God, set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. I'll unroll to stand. Inhale those arms overhead. Exhale those hands to heart center. We're going to step the left foot back into our warrior one. So your front right heel is in line with about the middle arch of your left heel and the left toes are pointing at a 45 degree angle. Notice how strong the legs are here. This is 
a warrior pose. It is a pose of strength. We're going to inhale the arms overhead. And we're angling the hips towards the front of the mat. We're going to take a breath in here. And we're going to exhale into our side angle. So the left forearm comes to the right thigh. Roll your shoulder, your left shoulder back, tuck it under. And we're going to reach the left arm out straight overhead, your bicep coming up to that left ear. And then we will transition to peaceful warrior. Straightening the front leg, reaching through the fingertips. Left hand can come to the back of the thigh or you can wrap it. We're going to make this into just a little flow here. So bending back into our side angle, reaching with that left hand, and then coming into our peaceful warrior. We'll do that just a couple more times. Trying to make this feel really fluid. Notice if you can use the breath as you move through this pose. See if it can help you find your stability. And we'll spend one more breath here together in our side angle. And on your exhale, both hands will find the mat. Your toes will point towards the front of the mat. And we are going to take a half pigeon. So your hips might feel tight right now. You might notice a pulling through the buttocks into the lower back even. And so we're also going to try to make this a fluid motion. So we're going to stay upright intentionally coming onto the fingertips. And we'll take a breath in, lifting our gaze, noticing the shoulders tucked under here, maybe noticing the stretch we're getting even at the front of the left hip. And on your next exhale, fold forward. And on your inhale, roll back up. Your head lifts last, lifting your gaze. And then we'll come down again, folding over that front knee and coming back up. Let's do this at your own pace just a few more times. Okay, wherever you're at, we'll meet in this kind of upright position, plant the palms, tuck the left toes, and send that right foot back to meet the left in downward dog. We'll go ahead and pedal the heels here. Go nice and slow as you wake up the hamstrings. Shake out your head, yes and no. Notice the strength of your arms, your hands pressing into the mat. And we'll come down to tabletop. We're going to keep working with that right hip. On your inhale, we're going to lift the heel to the sky. And then on your exhale, bring the knee to chest, rounding the spine into cat spine. And then, then as you inhale, raise the heel once more, lifting the gaze for your cow spine. Okay, we're going to come to a neutral spine, flat tabletop. We're going to keep working this hip. So we're going to take our knee in circles. Really find your stability with your hands. Notice how this even feels in the the left leg. And then we're going to drop that knee and meet in tabletop. From tabletop, left arm lifts high. And then we're going to take our thread the needle pose by taking it under the right arm, sending the hips back into that child's pose position and letting the left ear rest on the ground out of it we'll find our tabletop our toes tuck under 
and we'll walk the feet to meet the hands. Let's inhale to stand, arms coming overhead. We're going to exhale back into our camel pose, fingers into the small of the back, shoulders rolled under, gaze lifted, and then spine organized forward fold. We'll unroll to stand, inhaling the arms overhead, hands come down through heart center. This time the right foot steps back for our warrior one. Again, the left heel is in line with the arch of the right foot. The right foot is at a 45 degree angle. Our knee is, our front knee is tracking above the ankle. Notice how this feels in your hips. Square the hips towards the front of the mat. See if you can notice that, that change as you kind of play with this pose, if you'd like. Kind of rock the hips and see how that changes the stretch into that right hip. We'll inhale the arms overhead. And on an exhale, find our side angle. So this time we'll We'll hinge forward from the hips. We're keeping our tall posture. That left hand or that left forearm comes to the left thigh, your palm facing the sky. And we roll the right shoulder back and we take the right arm overhead. Bicep finds, um, finds the ear or close to the ear. You can play with your gaze. Maybe look at the fingers. Maybe look at the ground. And then we'll make this kind of a moving a moving series here so we're going to come back up into our peaceful warrior that front leg straightens the left fingers reach towards the sky and then we'll come back into our side angle right hand reaches 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 feel grounded here we'll move back into our peaceful warrior and then into our side angle. Inhale those that right arm and we'll take a breath together here. All right, let's do one more. And on your exhale, both hands will find the mat. Toes pointing towards the front of the mat. Spend just a moment in this posture. Maybe notice how it's feeling in your hamstrings. And then we'll take our pigeon pose here. So tuck that left, that left leg under and kind of walk, if you need to, walk the right leg behind you. And we're going to come onto our fingertips here, give ourselves some height. Our chest forward, our gaze lifted, feeling strong in this pose. Noticing how this feels in our body. Noticing how it feels in the hips. And as we're moving through this pose today, I'll read our psalm one more time. But let's get started here. On your next exhale, lower yourself down. We'll make this our fluid motion, rippling through the spine as you come back up, lifting the gaze, sinking movement to breath. Exhale as you come down. Inhale as you come up. Psalm 24. Verse four to five says, may he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your victory. And in the name of our God, set up our banners and may the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Okay, go ahead and plant your palms here. We're going to tuck the right toes and send that left foot back into downward dog. Pedaling the feet. This never has to be a static posture. Notice the strength in your shoulders, the flexibility through the toes as you bend into each foot, the flexibility in your arches and your hamstrings. Notice the line of energy from your wrists that runs all the way to the hips, keeping your head in that line.
And we will come down onto the knees into our tabletop. And we're gonna keep working into that left hip now. So notice how you are, how you landed here. Notice if you are keeping a straight back running from the crown of the head all the way through the tailbone. Notice how strong the arms are and the fingers pushing into the mat. That your knees are directly below your hips and your wrists directly below your shoulders. We'll take the left leg this time, the left heel, we'll lift the left heel towards the sky. And then we are going to bring it into the chest on an exhale breath. So go ahead and hold it there if you need to get your breath synced. And on your inhale, lift the, hip, the heel again, lift your gaze coming into this cow spine. And so we'll exhale once more as we meet in cat spine, knee to chest. You can continue this motion at your own pace. Okay, we'll meet here in the center and we're gonna do our circles with our hip here. So you can do shallow circles if you'd like. I like the feeling of the big circles, really working into the range of motion that I have here. And this is also building your mobility. It's not a passive stretch. You're using the muscles of your hip in, in all planes of, a, of motion here. So this is strength building as well. Okay, we'll come to center. Inhale, arm, right arm reaches up behind you. Exhale, we're gonna thread the needle under the left arm, sinking the hips into child's pose. Your head can find the mat. Let's take a calming breath here. So this psalm talks about God granting the desires of your heart and fulfilling all your plans. And a lot of times we can think of that as something difficult, like God will grant our desires if it is also his will. But I have heard that people pray for God to put his desire in your heart. And so in that way, you are finding unity that unity with what God wants for your life, but it is then also what you want for your life. Okay, we're gonna come out of this pose back into your tabletop. We'll be here just a beat as we send the hips up and back for our downward dog. We'll walk the feet to meet the hands. And now we're gonna come to lie directly on the back. Go ahead and stretch out long through the toes, reach through the fingers, hug the knees into the chest, rock side to side. See if you can flatten that lower back so that there's no space there in the lumbar spine as you rock side to side. We'll do a supine twist, leaving the right knee to the chest, straighten the left. Right knee comes to the ground as you twist. Send your gaze in your right arm to the right. And we'll come back through center. You can circle that hip anymore that you'd like. And then release it to the ground. Left knee comes into chest. And now we'll take the left knee over our body to the right side, sending the left arm and the gaze over the left. And then coming back to the back and circling that hip. And we'll come to stillness here in our final resting pose. Take the hands to your sides, palms up, and allow the feet to fall to the sides. Allow all the muscles of the face to relax and just feel supported by the ground beneath you. 
And so I ask you, what are the deepest desires of your heart? Do you feel that harmony and peace that comes when your heart and mind are in agreement? When you feel like you are on the path that God wants for your life. And if you're not at peace, perhaps these desires can shift and grow or change. Jesus was an asker of provocative questions. And in Luke, he flat out asks a man, what do you want me to do for you? Wow, how exciting to imagine Jesus standing in front of you, listening to you, asking you what you want or what you need, and knowing that he has the power to bring it to fruition. So imagine that Jesus is right here with you right now, asking you, what do you want me to do for you right now? What would you say? Can you lay it before the Lord? And if you feel that it is not in line with God's will, can you surrender your desires and ask Him to help direct your heart? Remember that God has plans to prosper you and not to harm you. To give you hope and a future. Can you accept that? Can you accept that He might give you unexpected desires? Can you ask God to align your desires with His will for your life? So let's sail right here today. Rest your body, reflect on today's message, and respond however feels right to you. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.